Hello everyone, it is Beck X Games here and welcome back to episode 7 of the Sun Korea mode. And as of now, we are sat in 6th place in the championship and uh, there is quite a gap between us and the automatic spots. In fact, within 18 games, already 15, there's already, already a 15 point gap. So we're going to need to sort of pick up the pace here. I mean, we've only got... I think 28 games left, I believe, because 46 games in the championship. So, uh, without further ado, I'm just going to head straight into this game against Coventry. And, oh, we sold Benetti. Now, I know last episode that uh, I did get 3 mil for him, but obviously I didn't actually show it because, uh, you know, I kind of... I, I don't even know what happened last episode. Like, I just drew 3-3 three, three with uh, Southampton. And then I just sort of just ended the video without like any like actual normal conclusion. So I do apologize for that, but um, you know, I'll make sure we're not to cut myself off straight away at the end next time. However, I'm going to be playing against Coventry. Um there will be probably either two games played, two simmed, or there'll be three games played and one simmed in this episode. It's just cause like the last few episodes I feel like I, I you know, I say that they're short, but like they're not really, like, usually a normal episode for me, like, a while ago would have been, like, you know, 40 minutes, but now they've been, like, 30 minutes, like, 29 minutes, round about that, so, that doesn't matter anymore, I suppose, I'm just gonna say how long this video lasts, but, without further ado, let's get into this game against Coventry City away. Alright, so here we go, hoping for a, a decent win today, you know, last game, sorry, not last game, well, well, the last few games, I should say, we literally ended up with a bunch of draws, which I know is not ideal, but I'm hoping this week we can pick up the pace now, and I have not played in about a week, actually, so might be a bit rusty, but Joe Bold in a second. First off, oh, okay, saved by Miller. All in straight over the defender. Good and brilliant tackle from Pembele. Okay, giving away for more nine, and they just completely missed. Thank God for that. I I made the same mistake last game. I I just ended up passing it towards their attack, and it just didn't go well. So maybe let's not do that back. But we do get that back straight away again. Here comes burst oh they've given it to clark clark and that's well off and to be fair coventry hasn't really i mean i know it's only been 18 minutes but coventry has not done anything in this game to be fair when that one straight back though beautiful player there into joe bellingham and that is one nil thank god for that and i'm pretty sure joe bellingham was the first to score in last episode and that would be correct actually because we, we scored against spurs after that shot and counter attack, to be fair. But we do lead now against Coventry. And hopefully we can keep that lead for once, because I cannot be bothered to lose another lead. Terrible kick from the goalkeeper. There's been a few of them in the last few episodes, all in a minute. Job! Oh, not quite. Oh, bid well on the wing now. Good one. Allen, good interception, oh, giving away, okay, bit of a poor shot from Coventry, like, I thought they were going to score there, but thankfully we got away with us, I just need to get better at clearing the ball, to be honest, because it's something I'm not, I've always been terrible at, but anyway, we're always good at doing this, though, having a decent counter-attack straight away, Job, inside, past all the defenders, and this is a man in form, Two goals for Joe Bellingham now. I actually started him ahead of Ekwa because Ekwa seemed a bit tired, I can't lie. But Joe Bellingham's got two goals now and we're only we're still in the first half. Definitely want him to be starting for us for more games now. Definitely. Oh, here they come. Right inside. I don't, okay, I don't know why Patterson dove that way, but... Coventry get one back, and I mean, this is just going to continue to happen. I hope to God we don't just lose the ball straight away like that again. I cannot be bothered. 
All right, not bad. Well, we are ahead in the first half, thanks to Joe Bellingham. But um, I mean, we should we should be two 0 up. I don't know why Patterson dove literally the wrong way, but it is what it is. I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to take Serkin off, and I'm, I'm you know what? I'm going to play Hume at left wing back. I want to see how he plays on that left side. Because then we could just potentially switch him for certain instead of, you know, keep dragging Pembele off every two seconds after the first half. So, we're just going to do that instead. I don't know why I've got Benetti on the bench, to be fair. I mean, I've already got IC, so... Never mind. On to the second half. But does give us the opportunity, however. First off, quick pass back to Job for the hat-trick. Saved by Muir, that could have definitely been the hot rig there for Joe Bellingham. Can we make good work of this? Ballard, yes! Thank God for that, because I swear, in like the last few episodes, Ballard's missed so many open headers. But thank God for that, Ballard. I'm pretty sure he gets his first goal of uh, the season. Uh, I mean, the, the keeper did fumble it there, like, and especially the lad on the line, but I am complaining. 3 1 Sunderland has been a good game so far. Yeah, get in there, Roberts. Come on. Go on, Job. He's just a bit slow, that's all. You know, I'm going to cross this one over. Brilliant pass there to Burst. Oh! Pass it back out in. Clark! Ah, oh, it's going to be another corner. Well, we've been playing extremely well now, like. Come on. Get this on Ballard's head. Come on. Ballard's in there. Keep it. There we go. And Ballard has now got two. The two players have got two goals now. And honestly, I'm just, I'm just going to bring on a bunch of subs now. We're up 4-1. This has probably been our best result so far. Especially against Coventry. I mean, to be fair, they haven't been that good this season, you know. But, um... Yeah, they were in the playoff final last year. But, um... Well, last season, I should say. But... I don't know. Barr just seems to win every single header now. Two lads in form today. It's Ballard and Job. And I ain't complaining. Brilliant pass. Back to Barr. Bar into burst door, is he onside? He is, but it's going to be a corner. I mean, we should be finishing that, but... Never mind. I, I mean, Ballard's not in the game anymore, I don't think, so I'm just going to have to... I don't know, maybe he's lobbed this one a bit further away. Oh! Oh! My God, I thought I actually scored a corner there. Anyway, that is the first game we have won 4-1. Uh, you know, it's, it's about time we got a win, and at least, you know, quite the thrashing. Uh, away. I mean, to be fair, most games actually we've we've definitely played better away. I'm I'm actually gonna see if there's like a stat on that. I don't know if there is. Um, in this game, I will pull it up the way if I do. And you'll probably see that in about two seconds. Okay, never mind. It, it just turns out like you just get like your team stats and that. I thought you could actually like find like how many away wins and home wins and that you've got. But I mean, really, yeah, come on, you've got the money. You got to just like add it in. You know what I mean? Like you, you game. It's twenty twenty four. Like well, soon anyway. It'll be like a month and a half away. But you know, you could just add the away and the home goals and wins. But you know, it it, it don't matter. I suppose. You know what, let's just quickly run through the stats. I mean, well, you've probably already seen it now because I'm mean, waffling on, just flicking through them, but... Um, Bishop has had no appearances. I feel like that's not true. I feel like he's played, like, a a, a game in the championship, but I, I suppose he hasn't. Uh, Rosen, I mean, he's had he's only had four appearances and scored three goals, so that's not bad. Burstow's had one more appearance, made the same stat line. Max Thompson, you know, I'll probably sell him, to be fair. I've not used him once. Semedo, three appearances, no goals, no assists. I mean, I mean, he is, I mean, 59 overall. You know, it, it, it is what it is, but I might probably sell him or take him out on loan in the January transfer window. Who knows? Uh, Patrick Roberts, four goals, two assists. Jack Clark, definitely our best performer. 
nine goals, ten assists, proving he's probably the best player in the championship right now. Uh, especially the way he's been playing in the championship as of current. I think he's got like ten goals in the championship. So actually, to be fair, this stat line's quite close, except for the assists. The assists are not that high compared to last seasons, anyway. But um, I see two assists. You know, if you just want to skip, you can because I mean, I'm just going to flip through almost every player. Oh, Drago, I've only had four games with him, two goals, one assist. I should probably put him ahead of Bar more now, but I guess not. Uh, Equa, three goals, two assists. Decent. Daniel, two goals. Franka, six goals, two assists. But he's definitely been a decent signing. Joe Bellingham, obviously, he had his first two goals in the championship there. And three assists. Uh, Pembele, two assists. Uh, sorry, no. Hume, two assists. Pembele, goal and assist. Dan Ballard with two goals, obviously just coming off the back of that game. And that is it in terms of goals and assists. Now, our next game, who do we have next? We've got Swansea away. Mm. Yeah, you, you know what, I think I'm just going to uh, just sim simulate that game and just say what happens. Actually, I forgot, I do have... Um, some youth academy players. I don't know whether to use them yet. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm not going to use any of these players. But, like, you know, just in case, I'm just going to have them sat here, I guess. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I can almost guarantee you now, if you put, like, this bloke at, like, Cam or something like that, he'll go up by, like, six or something. There's no way he's a CDM and he's got more shooting than defending. There's no way. Uh... Whoever the hell Pedro Parra is, I mean, all right. I mean, he, if he's a Macam, he should be called Pedro Mara, but he's not. So, never mind. I can't tell if that's racist or not. But I mean, it's, I mean, it's not. But like, you know, nationality and everything. But that doesn't matter. Um, right now we're playing against Swansea away. Yeah, I'm just gonna quick send this one. I'm not gonna put anyone else because you know, every time I've quick I don't think I've won a game off quick sim actually. I think I've just drawn every game on Quicksim, so... Can the luck continue? No, of course it can't. And, oh, great, well, Hugo 9's got a red card, so Triantus or Sale's going to have to step in. Well, great, that's not uh, ideal, but... Well, this is a game I'm not going to be missing. Uh, Sunderland versus Leeds. So quickly checking the table, they are second right now, and the, the gap is a bit bigger than what it was at the beginning of the episode. I mean, it's just by one point. But we could close the gap the second to 13 points with a win here against the Leeds United. That would be huge. And, well, you know, let's go kick some arse, I suppose. All right, here we go. Can we deplete the amount of home losses we have? Well, obviously not, because that would not make sense, but... Uh, you know, I have to race like that. Right, can we possibly just get rid of our, like, terrible home form? I hope so. Especially against a team like Leeds, because they're absolutely smoking the league with uh, Leicester City right now, so... We're just going to have to put these lot to bed, hopefully. Actually, he's decent counter here with Patrick Roberts. Roberts! Ah, not quite straight the goalkeeper. No, oh, well, great. Here comes Leeds on the counter-attack straight away. Their team must be absolutely stacked, considering they're that far ahead, because uh, I know they're not like that in the, in the league right now. I know they're third, I think, but I don't think they're, like, all the way up there. And and the former Sunderland man, Joe Gellhart, scores against Sunderland. Well, that's just great. I was literally just saying... This team must be sacked, and of course, the one person who was on out on loan last season against us scores straight away. Go on, Clark. Brilliant pass from Equa. Equa into Rusin. Oh, see, we just keep losing it. I like, get that one point where the defender just sticks his foot out. I just feel like this is going to be another loss for Sun and like I can't lie. Well, the loss for me as well, considering I'm controlling them. Nah, no, see, Piro, Piro's just playing like a bloody centre-back right now, and I don't know how. Oh, never mind, though, Pembele, throwing goal. Can this be the equaliser for Sunderland? Yes, it can. There we go, Pembele. On the right wing, I mean, he should be playing at right-back, but, I'm, you know, I am complaining. The goal's a goal, and I'm pretty sure that's Pembele's first goal in the championship. 
Um, I'm quite pleased to be honest. You know, this game was like that's probably our first proper counter attack, and um, it was a good finish to be fair. He had to squeeze that one past uh, I think Melia, I think that is. Yeah, and he's he's still at least in the championship. So one one, maybe we might not lose this game. We'll go on. Tackle from Clark. Rusen. Go on, Rusen. Keep going. All right, we'll win a foul out of that. And uh. Red cards. Um, I don't think that was supposed to happen. I mean, he just stick his foot out and Rusen stays up. I, I can't lie. I got a bit bailed out there, but you know, now that makes this game hell of a lot easier. So, how do we want to play this one now, lads? I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna pass this straight here. Ballard, Pembele. Roberts, and that one goes out for a corner. Now we'll turn the tables on Leeds. Come on. Okay, never mind. They're going to hold that one, but... That red card is absolutely huge for us now, though, because, you know, we're just going to absolutely breeze past him now. There goes Roos, and is he... Okay, he's offside. Never mind. Never mind, though. Leeds on the counter-attack with Spence. Pervera... Good stop from certain Pervera again, though. Crosses it into Ganotto. How the hell have they actually pulled that off? Like, of course, when we're up by one man, we can't defend the ball. I actually don't get it. But, ne you know what, never mind. Okay, I was on about, you know, getting, you know, they've got ten men. Can I get a goal at half time? No, you know what, let's just smack you across the face. And, you know, let's just make a 2-1 in the second half, I suppose. But, you know, I'm looking to quickly press here. There's no way on hell. Sorry, no way in hell. Not no way on hell, but... That I'm losing this match. No chance. I don't know why, but it feels like when I've, like, done this, like, attack and play again. Like, at least it feels like he's a bit up more than he should be, but... Mate, there's no way. There's genuinely no way. Game. Come on, game. No. Okay, good save, Bishop. Find that through, but oh come on, man! You should be like at least executing that pass. There we go. Good tackle from Roberts. There. He's currently playing right back. I don't know why, but it's probably just because this weird formation we have with, with attacking players. But here we go, though. Rusens open on goal. I'm gonna cross this into Clark. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. There we go. Good tackle from Pembele. There, he's been the best player probably is again this match. Equa now. Inside, what a goal! I don't know how he squeezed that one in, but we do equalise. 60 minutes in, come on, this is what we need. I am not drawn or losing a match when they're down to 10 men. This is exactly the chances we should be taking against the bloody automatic promotion side. Come on! Mm, Jed Spence now. I'm actually just going to switch back to balance because... Uh... I think it'd be much easier for me to control my defenders. Sales, I don't know what the hell that was. Bishop, are you actually serious? Like, Bishop, what the hell was that? Why didn't he just catch it in his hands? And how the hell did Spence pull that one off? Okay, I, I'm pretty sure as well that went out. I'm not making excuses, but come on. I mean, how the hell... A Leeds back in front after that. Like, I swear down, if we somehow lose this game. Game, please. I cannot go through another loss like this with bloody up by one, man. Here we go. Serkin. Equa. Through in the middle to Rusen. Rusen. 3-3. Three, three. There we go. Quick equaliser again. Please. Do not let them concede within, the, like, the next... Five minutes at least, please. I think actually staying down the middle is a bit better, like, because that's why they don't have that extra defender. Rusen. Clark. Roberts. Back to Rusen. 4-3. What a comeback. I mean, there's still 20 minutes left to go. But now we're finally ahead in this game. Rusen at the double. Oh, like, thank God. I am... Um...
I am tires game. I am tires. You know what? I just thought it'd be a smart decision have an equid striker just just for this match alone because he's a good defender and you know he can get the ball off them attackers defenders sorry quite well. But anyway, Rosen now. You know I'm gonna have a crack with Rosen here. Rosen! Oh my god! I don't know why I shouted Rosen's name there, but that would that would have been an absolute corker. But it is saved though. Can we make it five three? Maybe Roberts. Go on, Alicia, have a crack from there, mate. Ah, oh. come on, surely that's two minutes ref. You dare continue? There we go, and that is the second win of the episode. Back to winning ways for sure for Sunderland and myself. I mean, thank God we needed the win this game against Leeds. Particularly, we only play them twice a year, like every team. But when it comes to playing against an automatic promotion side. A win is the most important thing. And, oh, we were the earliest game. I was going to say, I like the likes of Leicester and that we're doing, but never mind. Now, oh, uh, how are we doing for time, actually? Oh, we're doing, we're do you know, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Match day against West Brom. Our away form's been quite good, so I can't lie. You know, we beat Tottenham. Uh, we drew against... Rotherham. <laughs> I mean, that's nothing good, actually. I'm trying to think it was bait, actually, away. Well, didn't we literally just play, um... My God, who, who did we... Not Leeds. Who did we literally just play before Swansea? I'm like, my mind's gone blank. Coventry, that's who we played. Played against Coventry, and we done well against them, so... Yeah, you know, I ain't complaining. Um, we're, you know, you know, we're going to let Frank play this game. He's missed a few games, I suppose, and just came off the bench. Bar will start ahead of Roberts. Um, I'm going to throw Sale on instead of Elise here. I feel like Sale needs a bit more game time. Uh, Pritchard. I, I'm not playing the players who have like so, so, sold. So like Benetti and Pritchard, you know, just a lie to them. I think, you know, I'm not sure if I've actually sold Pritchard. You know, it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to stop waffling. Um, you know what, I'm going to take Ballard off for now. I feel like he's played too many games as well. I'm going to have Hume starting. You know, his sharpness needs to get a bit up there. Against West Brom, here we go, final match. Can we make it nine points for the episode? Hopefully we can. Okay, right, I've just came to the decision here. Um, On second thought, I feel like I just want to keep, like, the two matches and, like, you know, two sims, uh, like, each episode. So, I'm just going to sim this and hopefully I don't get screwed over by the game. But, uh, let's just say what happens. And, okay, nil-nil. I, I swear we've had, like, three draws doing that now. But, you know, I, I mean, I guess I'll take it. Um, so, at the end of the day, right, okay. Actually, I've just realised we're playing Liverpool next episode. So, make sure you don't miss that because that is going to be a hell of a match at home as well. So... As of now, if I check the championship, I should have. I should have probably just played that game. Like fair enough, but like, oh, oh, yeah. You know what? I should have probably played that game, but uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what? Never mind. It doesn't really matter. Uh, at the end of the episode, though, we are one spot outside the playoffs. I mean, we 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 technically went down, but I'm trying to think. So we had two wins today. Uh, a draw and a loss. So, I mean, they, we had more wins than losses at the end of the day. Not a bad episode, I suppose. But uh, that is going to do for me. I've been better X Games, and thank you all for watching. And make sure to stay tuned in my new episodes as well. I will be bringing some more NBA 2K content out very soon, actually. Uh, for those who do watch the NBA and stuff like that, I, I know my uh, my content is quite a mixed bag because I know a lot of people. I'm from the UK and there's literally like barely anyone who watches the NBA in the UK. So, you know, the, the, it, is, it is what it is at the end of the day. But yeah, I'll probably be bringing out a career sim uh, maybe next week. So we'll just see how that goes. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you a lot in episode eight. Goodbye. Okay, so just to explain something real quick, um, a lot of my videos are cut short, basically, because I have to rush over to places a lot of the time, so this, I'm actually, like, recording this audio right now on the 30th of November, which is, like, 
and it was really late compared to when I uh, had it before. But, um, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Um, I will try to make sure the episodes are a little bit longer than usual, just because, you know, I'm sort of rushed for time where, like, to be fair, I probably, if I had the time in my hands, I probably would have played that game against West Brom. However, I am in a rush a lot of the time, so that does not matter anymore. But um, I hope you lot enjoy this episode, as I am uh, <laughs> overseeing this now. But, um, yeah, uh, also, thank you for 130 subs. I do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.